Welcome back. In our previous video, we discussed how heat, also known as thermal energy, is responsible for changing the behavior of molecules in a pure substance and how that energy can result in the substance changing its state of matter. But here are two questions. First, can you explain how thermal energy moves from a heat source to another substance? Additionally, are there any materials that can withstand high temperatures? I am curious to learn more about this topic, so let's get right to it. As a reminder, the term heat, used in everyday language, refers to thermal energy, which is the motion of atoms or molecules within a substance. Heat also refers to transferred energy, which we will discuss today. Heat can be transferred through convection, conduction, radiation, or a combination of these methods. It is important to remember that each process involves sending thermal energy from a warmer substance to a cooler one. Let's start with convection. This process occurs when hotter material moves towards cooler areas, displacing the cooler material and causing heating. An example of this is boiling water in a pot. The hotter water at the bottom rises to the surface, carrying heat with it. This causes the contents of the pot to heat up and cook. The cooler water then falls to the bottom and is heated, restarting the cycle. The second type of thermal energy transfer is through the process of conduction. In this method, heat is transferred when a material comes into direct contact with a heat source. You can observe this when cooking on a stove, where the bottom of a pan comes into direct contact with the heat source. The stove conducts heat energy directly to the bottom of the pan, and then the pan conducts heat energy directly into the food touching it. This is how an egg is fried and how a burger is cooked on a grill. Moving on, the third method of heat transfer is radiation. In this process, heat is transferred without substances or matter moving or touching. Instead, the heat moves through the space between the heat source and the object to be heated. The object in the path of the radiation will be heated. For instance, the sun uses this method to heat all the planets, including Earth. Similarly, when we broil or bake something, the heat source in the oven sends heat energy through the space between it and the baking item. The heat energy enters into the food and cooks it. Although radiation heating is typically the least efficient, its effects travel the greatest distance. Is there any way to speed up or slow down the process of heat transfer? Before we discuss this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We will be doing videos on each of the new standards. The more likes and subscribers we receive, the more videos we will do. Thank you. Now, back to the video. So far, we discussed three methods of heat transfer. Do you remember what they are? Take 10 seconds to think about it. The three methods of heat transfer are Conduction Convection And Radiation there are different methods to transfer heat into a substance, and the speed at which it heats up depends on several factors such as its size, the environment it is in, and its composition. The larger the substance, the more thermal energy it requires to reach higher temperatures. For instance, if we compare a steak to a brisket, both made from beef, the steak will cook faster due to its smaller size, while the brisket will take a few hours to cook thoroughly. Personally, I prefer my brisket well done. In addition to size, the type of material being heated also plays a crucial role in the process. Specifically, metals are known to absorb heat energy at a faster rate than other materials. This is why most pots and pans have a metal exterior, allowing for efficient heat transfer when placed on a stove. In contrast, materials such as plastic, rubber, wood, sand, and rocks are not as effective at heating up. While they can still burn, they do not transfer heat as efficiently as metal. Therefore, it is important to consider the type of material being heated when determining the best method for achieving optimal heating results. When heating something, the material's type and state of matter are both important factors to consider. 
Solids can absorb and transfer heat faster than liquids, while liquids can do so faster than gases. This is due to the distance between molecules, the closer they are, the easier heat can be transferred. As gas molecules are furthest apart, they transfer heat at a lower rate compared to solids with molecules tightly packed together. Lastly, the environment is a critical factor in heating a material. Things under high pressure will heat up more quickly than those under low pressure. This is the same mechanism that plays a role in the formation of stars. The gas becomes so pressurized that it begins to heat up and eventually forms a star. We covered a lot in today's video, so let's take a moment to review. Heat energy can be transferred through conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction happens through direct contact, while convection moves hotter material through cooler material. Radiation sends thermal energy outward from the heat source without any substances needing to move or touch the heat source directly. While the method of heating can play a role, the most important thing to consider about a substance's ability to be heated is the composition of the material. Metals heat much faster than any other material. Things like wood and rubber will hold less heat. Additionally, materials that are larger or have a lot of gas will heat more slowly than smaller and completely solid materials. Now let's review with a few questions. Teachers, you can make this video into an ed puzzle or use it as a formative assessment quiz in Google Classroom. The questions are in the description for you to easily copy and paste. Number 1. When heat is transferred from one substance to another, how does it flow? A. From the larger to the smaller. B. From the colder to the hotter. C. From the smaller to the larger. D. From the hotter to the colder. Number 2. What is it called when the warm substance transfers heat by moving to cooler areas? A. Conduction. B. Convection. C. Radiation. D. Evaporation. Number 3. What is it called when thermal energy is transferred without direct contact or the moving of warmer substances? A. Conduction. B. Convection. C. Radiation. D. Evaporation. Number 4. What is it called when thermal energy is transferred through direct contact? A. Conduction. B. Convection. C. Radiation. D. Evaporation. Number 5. Which material will transfer heat the quickest? A. Bubble wrap. B. A steel beam. C. A wooden block. D. Water. Thank you for watching. You can watch any of our videos or rewatch this one at any time by going to youtube.com and searching for a C Learning. Make sure the logo on the channel is the same as the one you see on the screen at the end of this video. Goodbye.